Concerns over climate change have also prompted individual states across America to develop their own green energy programs to reduce greenhouse gases. So how does America really address climate change? We've got author Jack Kerfoot uh, here in studio. He's been working in and around the en energy industry for more than 40 years to talk a little bit about this issue this morning. Good morning, Jack. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Mimi and Jake. It's a pleasure. Yeah, so you've been talking about um, the, the number of renewable energy and the amount of renewable energy that we are now using. Tell us about the change in the last 15, 20 years. In 2005, the U.S. passed a, the 2005 Energy Act, which is a bipartisan uh, act that gave tax credits for renewable energy and also nuclear and also uh, fossil fuels. We were seeing oil prices go well over $100 a barrel. The outcome of that was we've seen a dramatic growth in renewable energy from just 6 or 7 percent for power across the United States to now it has passed coal. Uh, coal was over 50 percent at the time mm. in 2005. So that's a dramatic change. So we've actually seen the utility industry actually decrease the total emissions in the United States. The total emissions in the U.S. has actually decreased by about 12 percent since 2005. Mm. And so now the largest cause for emissions are transportation, right. uh, closely followed by utilities. So what is it about this issue? It feels like it's the only issue out there that immediately puts you on the political spectrum, depending on what you believe. What is it about this that is making it so controversial, and how can we get the message across? Because the science is there. Uh, the science is there, and what I like to say is if you're debating uh, climate change, you're studying for the wrong test. And the fact that if you have a cli climate uh, skeptic, He's not, he or she is not going to really change their opinion. But what you can argue that's irrefutable is CO2 emissions do cause pollution. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you've been in places like Los Angeles or Denver or New York, you can smell and see the pollution. Mm -hmm. If you've been in Southeast Asia like I have or in India and China uh, in the virgin periods, you can typically can't even see the end of your hand uh, in November and December and everyone wears a mask. In the morning, it's white, and at night, it's gray. Yeah. Uh, you get so, like that here, you know, uh, someday. Who knows? Yes, that's exactly right. Yeah. Uh, the other factor is cost. Uh, skeptics, I like to ask them, do you like to save money? Uh, right now, the cheapest form of power um, on a levelized basis without tax credits is onshore wind, followed by solar, followed by hydro, followed by natural gas. So right now, coal is three times, almost three times the cost of renewable energy. Yeah. Why are people so critical of the Green New Deal? Uh, the Green New Deal, unfortunately, has come out with, uh, initially, it was a very unrealistic time frame, and they wanted to eliminate nuclear, um, and they had it in a very severe, compressed manner that was quite candidly, even by the Sierra Club, would say is unworkable. Mm -hmm. But other states, let's say like New Jersey and Minnesota, have come out with plans to be 80% carbon-free by 2030 and to be 100% carbon-free by 2045. And in my opinion, those plans are very viable and they can be achieved uh, by 2030 and by 2045. And what happens if we don't take the threat of global warming seriously? Well, I think what we're seeing already is, and perhaps the greatest, that people see the, the, the ice caps melting and they worry about the rising of the oceans. But perhaps the greatest fear that I recognize is the warming of the temperature in the oceans. Right. And that's going to change our, our ecosystem in the oceans and potentially impact dramatically impact our food supply. Yeah, well, uh, boy, we could talk for a lot longer than just three and a half minutes, but Jack Kerfoot has this great new book out right now. It's called Fueling America. Take a look. Uh, a lot of your discussion is going to be in here. Uh, I'm going to read it as well. So thanks right. for your time. Thank you, Jack. Appreciate, Appreciate your you. time. Mm -hmm.